So technology is is moving at such an incredible fast rate. And <clears throat> I saw the other day where Adobe with Photoshop came out with something that they call generative fill. And I wanted to check it out, especially on some of the car photography that I've been taking recently. And I can honestly say that this new thing, some people might love it, some people might hate it, but when it comes to creativity, you can make some pretty amazing pictures with it. So let's just hop on and see what it looks like. So to be able to check out the uh, Photoshop version that has the regenerative feel, um, it is actually within your creative cloud when you go over to apps and there's this banner here for it and that's where I downloaded it from. So once I downloaded it, I opened it up and I found a picture that I wanted to use, one of my card photography pictures I've taken recently. Um, this is my Kona N. And <clears throat> what you can do is select object. I had to do a little bit of cleaning up. As you can see, it cut off my spoiler here and everything like that. But just to show you what it can do, um, it'll blow your mind. Like, it completely blew my mind. So cut the car out. And I already did a few. We'll do a new one here in a second. But this is the kind of background you can get. So what I essentially typed in was cyberpunk bright city with orange and red lights. And it will generate three. It takes a little, a few minutes, or not a few minutes. It, I think it took only up to a minute to do it. But once it's done, like, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Here's another version of that that I uh, put in. And that's actually my favorite one. And here's a third that I put in. I also put in something like car under a street light in a foggy city. So this is one of the ones that it came up with. Here's another one. Here's another one. Another variation I did was car under street light and foggy city at night. So you can see here it even has reflection in the wet ground. And it's pretty cool. Now, of course, there's going to need to be some cleanup here in the windows and everything like that. And that can be done later. But it's, it's kind of crazy how well this works. Here, we'll put in another one. Let's say... Oh... A rainy street. And see what it comes up with. So I go ahead and hit generate. It's doing it right now. And here we go. These are results and <sighs> technology is crazy because this is actually a pretty crazy picture how well it's it's doing that so there it is the photoshop beta which includes a regenerative fill and um i'd like to see what you guys come up with if you can link them in the comments or tell me how you feel about the whole ai and photography in general some people love it some people hate it um I don't know how I feel about it, but I feel like certain things, it's extremely cool to do, especially something like this, if you want to a little, add a little pop to your picture. But let me know what you think. Uh, like to hear from you. Talk to you next time.